Hello friends, welcome back. I'm starting series to create web application using Spring Boot and RESTful web services. In this series, I am planning to cover most of the concepts currently used in IT industries like microservices, threads, async calls, APIs, RESTful web services, and so on. In this video, we will create Spring Boot application from scratch. We will build end-to-end -end application, we'll create controllers, JSPs, and we'll test them. Let's get started. First, we'll create project, go to new and other. So type spring. Since we don't see anything related to spring, first let's install it. Go to help. Eclipse Marketplaces. I'm sorry, my system is too slow. And we'll search for Spring Tool 4. We'll try to use Spring 4. Here, I don't see Spring 4. So, what I will do, like, let me do some. I am just exploring. You can skip a few minutes. Tools. So, here. I don't see what I want. So what I'll do, I'll cancel this and I will install it from install new software. And what we can do is go to Spring IO Tools 4 and this is what we are trying to do. So download STS4. So that's what I downloaded here. Click on this. So. Sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. So will go to help install and give this URL you will get all this select all and next and select next I accept and finish let's wait till it installs select install anyway select yeah everything is downloaded let's create new project now go to others spring spring starter and then next here so keep all the values and hit on next so we'll take web as dependency and click on finish. So let it install and build workspace. Now let's go to Palm XML to make sure it added all we wanted. So version is 4, Spring Boot is 2, and Java version is 1.8. Here we have dependency. It's web and we have test. We don't need test right now, so we can go ahead and delete. Click Command Shift F to format in Mac and Command S to save. So this might throw some error. We don't need this right now, so we can delete the test class. Let me show you the test class. 
so we can delete this one for now okay so let's create controller before that so here in spring boot application we have static main and the class is annotated with spring boot application i will link down below to read more about why spring boot what is the advantage so you can go through that one so let's create controller let's put it in controller and just give for now i'll give application controller as name and we don't finish so in, in spring mvc if you want to make any class as controller annotate that with controller so import it and here we need one method where we are string and i'm creating login page so Just give login access here and the written login page where I am returning JSP as login page. So just to make sure it is working, sys out. in controller login method just to make sure it's working so if you want to add any path give request mapping and you can give what is the path right now we have just as a blank as path this one so let's import this mapping and we are good here so to format command shift f and always do command shift o to make sure there is no unused imports and save it so here we created controller and we have request mapping where it shows the path now we need to create login page jsp to create this login page basically go here and then in main let's create one more folder which is web app and in this one folder web inf Mesh. So I would like to create JSP folder and here I want to create JSP file. So I would like to write only this just to since we are testing the application. So I created JSP. I've created controller and mentioned controller and request mapping. So what we can do is let's test it. Go to Spring Boot. Make sure since this is the first time we are running, let's update the project. So go to Maven, update project. We did not make any changes in form xml but just since it's the first time we are running let's run it and now to run go here click on maven builder clean 
installed if there is anything needs to be installed So as we see, it is installing. Required or mentioned in the POM XML. Now let's go to application here. Right click, run as, I would like to run as Java application. So here we can see it started on Tomcat and the port is 8080. So let's test it. Create HTTP double slash local host colon 8080. And we have mentioned just slash. You can see here it is throwing error, but in console we can see enter the controller so what we can do is so here it is coming to the controller but it is not going to the JSP so what to do this one we need to mention something in application properties so here I should give value like where the spring MVC view now let's run so if you don't want to come here and like select right click and run as Java application since we already ran we can choose this one okay so this is telling um, so we are getting okay the address is already in use so we forgot to cancel the last one so let's try one more time so in console whatever you have this red button just terminate whatever we have started the server before so now if I terminated and restarted the server and now let's see what happens Okay, it started in port 8080. Now let's go and try it. Or now we are getting error or it's like warning which is telling that we don't have parser which parse JSP. So we need to add dependency which is Tomcat embed Jasper. So Let's copy this and add it to POM XML. So we don't need the version and save it. So yeah, this thing will make sure to terminate the server. And since we added, let's build an install. So I selected here, so you can see, we can do like, we did two operations. So one is like Maven build, and we have given like clean and install, which is there. And then we started like, we did run as in main uh, class. And then that we can see, now we can run that one too. So that here, the Tomcat server will start. Yeah, server started and it is an 8080. Now we can test. Yes. Hey, we did it. So now you can see welcome and you can make sure 
change it and see it is working fine. I change the value and when you see, oh, let's try one more time. So if you don't see anything, that means you need to restart the server. So let's restart it. started yeah. bingo we see the changes we made here so by this we can see we have created controller we have JSP we created spring boot application from scratch and we made it working thank you everyone please give thumbs up to the video and leave a comment if you want to see anything else or if you want me to improve in any area. Thanks for watching. Thank you.